Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Roan, back again with another social studies lesson. This week we're on Studies Weekly 23. It's titled Goods and Services. And today I'm going to be teaching you about librarians. So I'm gonna start with reading a story to you today called Let's Meet a Librarian. And this story is written by Gina Belazero and illustrated by Ed Meyer. Chapter One, The Spy. Our class is on a mission. We're going to find out what a librarian does. We decide to visit Mr. Field. He is our school librarian. I'm an information expert, said Mr. Field. What does that mean, asks Joey. Let me show you, he says. What's something you really like? Dinosaurs, says Joey. And boys and girls, there are little green boxes that have extra information on each page. They're sidebars. Let's read them together. Librarians are people in the community. A community is a group of people who live in the same city, town, or neighborhood. Mr. Fields uses his computer to track down a T-Rex. Then he tells Joey how to find books in the library about the T-Rex. How did you do that, asks Joey. Mr. Field says, we can look for books about anything using the online catalog. A librarian named Melville Dewey made finding books easy. He gave different numbers to different types of books. Librarians use the numbers to put the books in order. Many libraries use these numbers. The catalog is Mr. Field's librarian tool. It lists all the books and movies in our library. He can also see things in other libraries. Library books don't have to stay in the library. Students and teachers can check out books from the school library. Librarians use computers to keep track of what books are checked out. So return the books on time. Chapter two, no shushing allowed. Uh-oh, Jack is talking in the library. Shh, whispers Grace. But Mr. Field doesn't mind. He says making noise can help us learn. He plays music from around the world. Mr. Field can get loud. Most people study best in a quiet library. So many libraries have separate places for noisy learning. These are called play spaces. Speaking up is important for librarians. It is how they share information. Sometimes librarians invite guests to speak at the library. The guest might be a nurse, a dog trainer, or a magician. Librarians call on them for extra information. Librarians are full of facts, reading so much. Librarians like hearing from you too. So ask a librarian a question and pump up your brain power. Chapter three, a computer wizard. Our teacher, Mrs. Rios needs help. Her computer is stuck. Presto, Mr. Field came to the rescue. He says librarians are technology wizards. Many libraries have electronic books, also called eBooks. You use a computer or other electronic reader to look at an eBook. Librarians can show you how they work. Mr. Field is good at troubleshooting. Troubleshoot means to solve problems. He teaches us how to use computers to do our schoolwork, and he teaches our teacher how to keep our computers safe from viruses. Sometimes computers can get viruses. A virus stops a computer from working properly. Librarians use special technology to help keep computers safe from viruses. Not every librarian lends a hand in school. Some help out in museums or in hospitals. Librarians also work at public libraries. These libraries are open to the community.
Mr. Field came to read us a story. So we give our book helper a hand too. Wasn't that a good story, boys and girls? I thought you would like that one. I sure did. Okay, today I have a special surprise for you. We have great librarians in our school and I'm sure you've been watching their lessons um, each week. We have Mrs. Link and we have Mrs. Roberts. And we're lucky that they also have some special aids that help them to keep our libraries in tip top shape. So today I have a special guest that wants to leave a little message for you. And that is Mrs. Steinbugel. Hi, Mrs. Steinbugel. Hi, Mrs. Roan. I heard you were learning about libraries and librarians this week for your lesson. My name is Mrs. Steinbugel and I work in some of our school libraries and I love books. I also love to help children find books that they want to read and then we check them out. The important part about borrowing books is you also have to return them. On May 27th, we're going to have a collection of materials and that's when you can return your library book. Then I'll check it back in and put it back on the shelf and it'll be all ready for next year. Thanks for letting me be a part of your lesson this week, Mrs. Roan. Thanks, Mrs. Steinbugel, for sharing that important message with second grade. Okay, boys and girls, for your assignment today, I would like you to read in week 23, Studies Weekly, Librarians and People Who Work. Then when you are finished, I would like you to make a little thank you card or maybe write a little thank you note for the librarian that keeps your books and your library in tip top shape. So you can put that in your special notebook or you can put that on a piece of paper and you can also draw a little picture if you would like to go with it. So I hope you've enjoyed um, our video for today. I hope you have a great day and enjoy the rest of your online learning for this week. Thanks boys and girls. Bye-bye.